Yo, what's going on, man? In today's episode, I'm gonna explain how if you're going to out to a special event, you have a wedding, you have an occasion where perhaps maybe you want to consume more food than usual, or you're gonna consume more food, food than usual to celebration, how you can still go to that event guilt-free and still make progress towards your fitness goal. You got an event coming up, all right? What I would suggest for you, if you're someone who is trying to lose weight and put on muscle, what I, what I suggest is that you follow this protocol right here. And this is something I personally follow when I know I'm gonna go out for a particular event and I know I wanna enjoy some food there, man. It's a special occasion, it's a celebration, like why not, right? What I really recommend is number one, you start intermittent fasting throughout the day and you don't break it until maybe three or four o'clock. Now my version of intermittent fasting is a little bit different. During the fast, I'll still have water, coffee, whatever the case may be, but I'll also have a protein shake in there too. And the reason being that when you do intermittent fasting, you're gonna save a lot of the calories that require you to either maintain or cut you're gonna save a lot of those calories on the back end of the day. What I mean by that is that by intermittent fasting, you're saving all the calories towards the end of the, towards the event coming up so that when the event actually comes, you can not have to take your plate out in moderation because you know that I need 2000, I need to hit my goal of hitting 2000 calories. If I don't eat until four o'clock, I'm still at 2000 calories. Maybe I have like a super small meal at four o'clock that's like 500 calories or something like that. Then when it comes to the evening time, I can enjoy 1500 calories. Versus if you start in the morning, you have like breakfast and you have a lunch. And let's say like, you know, they're both like 600, 700 calories each. You can only really have like 400, 300 calories left over for when you go out to the vet. That's so shit. Like you obviously want to eat more. So definitely recommend you do intermittent fasting. The second thing I really recommend is that you get your protein as early in the day as possible. That, that's why I said when you do your intermittent fasting, have like a, at least a protein shake in there. The reason being is that when you get, sh I always stress the importance of protein because it first off helps build your muscle. It helps repair your muscle. Well, I guess that's the process of building, but it also keeps you more full all right, and you might be thinking, well, I wanna enjoy the food. You wanna enjoy the food, but you don't wanna fucking devour everything, bro. You wanna have your appetite under control that you don't fucking turn into a fucking pig and devour everything in front of you. You wanna get your protein in as early as possible. That's the step number two, because it's gonna help you be more full throughout the day. It's gonna help build muscle. And also on top of that too, if let's say you're trying to lose fat, by eating a high protein diet, it's going to, and when you're losing weight, it's gonna target more of the fat than the muscle because I'm not saying that you won't maybe lose some muscle when you're cutting, but by having a high protein diet, you're minimizing the muscle that you're potentially losing. That's the second thing. You do your intermittent fasting, you uh, get your protein in. The third thing you need to do is get a cardio session in. Now I know everyone hates cardio, but for these for days like these, when you wanna actually eat, I really recommend doing cardio. And you don't have to do super high intense cardio. I always tell everyone, just do the chill, like you know, regular speed, high incline. Whatever that is for you, I just do my shit on like three speed, 11 incline, and I do that for 30 minutes. I do that every day, but especially on the days that I know I'm gonna go out, I make sure I get my cardio and steps in because what that's going to do is because you burn those calories, let's say, you know, your calorie deficit was 2000 calories. You went, you did 30 minutes of cardio and let's say you burned like 300 calories. That means you can now for the day have 2,300 calories and you're getting your protein in early and protein is generally lower in calories, like high protein foods. So by the time it comes to the evening, you're gonna create a big cushion where you can comfortably eat that food. You still got your protein in. And because you did that cardio earlier, it may even give you a little bit 
extra room for more calories you can eat, all right? And finally, the fourth thing I recommend is to make sure that you drink a lot of water. And here's the reason why. Throughout this day, you're gonna be pretty fucking hungry. Let's be honest. You wanna you 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 wanna enjoy that food at the event. You're gonna be pretty hungry throughout the day through intermittent fasting. I personally tell people that I, what I personally do is like, I won't even eat. <laughs> I won't. I generally won't eat anything crazy. I might have like a couple snacks just to get some protein in, but. I don't start eating until I get to the event because I just personally want to enjoy the food. And when I do that, I make sure I hydrate and I go straight for the protein first. That's that's another key part because I've told you guys to get protein in early. But I drink a lot of water right before I eat because and throughout the intermittent, uh, throughout the fast because a lot of the times when you feel hungry, it's just dehydration. By drinking enough water, you're gonna make sure you're not dehydrated and you're not extra hungry and extra craving. And it just prevents you from just going off the rails and binging and consuming a fuck ton of food at that event, all right? And also like you know, just drinking water, it, all right, I'm gonna leave it right there, man. But to quickly review those four steps, you wanna intermittent fast, you wanna get your protein in early, you wanna do a set of, you wanna do a session of cardio, and you wanna drink a lot of water throughout the day through your before your meal as well as while you're fasting. If you do all of those things, it will allow you to enjoy yourself when you're out at a particular event. So long as you don't go fucking crazy and you won't feel guilt-free and you'll still be able to hit your fitness goal. If you guys got any value from today's video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.